Welcome to another edition of our Formula Deep Dive series. Today we're going to see how to use the earnings formula to get an earnings calendar and historic earnings data. The basic way to use this formula is very simple. Just use earnings and then the ticker like this. You'll see this will give us a complete earnings calendar for all future earnings release dates. That includes the fiscal year and the fiscal quarter. So it's clear what earnings report you're looking at. We're filming this in December of 2023. So there are already analyst estimates for the next quarter. The missing columns for reported EPS, surprise EPS, that'll all be filled in once we start looking at historical reports. Now let's see if we want to modify the formula's output to only get the next earnings report. This is done by specifying a single date in the third parameter. So here I've requested the 12-31-2023 report and now you can see I'm only getting a single row of output, which is what I, I wanted to do. Now let's request all of 2023, and that's going to give me four historical reports plus the one report that's still pending. Now it's important to note about the earnings formula that when we decide to limit this by date, it's going to do a broad match. So it's going to search and include any date that's within the range. That includes both the calendar date and the actual release date of the earnings report. So you can use uh, either both the start date and the end date, or you can just use the start date as a specific date to match any of the dates, both the actual calendar date of the quarter or the release date of the earnings report if you already know uh, when the earnings were released. One of the things I really like about this formula is how you can uh, include both future earnings releases and historical earnings releases in a single uh, formula. So uh, that's exactly what we're showing here. We're showing four historical earnings reports plus the next upcoming earnings report. And you can see all the data comes together and you just you're just missing the reported EPS surprise EPS uh, columns for the, the future uh, report and um, now let's take a look at a single data point say the estimated earnings uh, from a specific earnings report and we can get that data inside a single cell so that's really useful if you want to embed this in type in, inside another formula or you're creating a, a dashboard of some kind. Um, we can limit the output to any specific column. And now we're limiting to just a specific earnings report. And you can see here now, there we go. We just have the estimated EPS. I hope this video has been educational. Please like and subscribe so that you can get notified when future videos are available.